So the Wii U eShop is definitely thriving, to say the least. There's already so many games of so many different genres worth checking out from smaller developers at an added benefit of far below retail prices. It's certainly nice to see Nintendo's digital presence expand as the eShop continues to grow, which makes this game even more special. See, Swords and Soldiers was originally released on Nintendo's WiiWare service, which was Nintendo's initial foray into the digital market. Fast forward five years, and Swords and Soldiers HD joins the many other great digital games on the Wii U eShop. Swords and Soldiers is a delightfully clever strategy game that definitely doesn't take itself so seriously that it sacrifices fun. Though it may sound bold, I'm going to say this right now. Unless you absolutely hate strategy games, you need to pick this up. At only $2.99, this title packs a huge amount of content in such a small price tag. The game has three separate campaign modes for the three factions being the Vikings, Aztecs, and Chinese, three challenge modes including survival for a more traditional tower defense, and the side distractions of Berserker Run and Boulder. Berserker Run has you trying to keep a single soldier alive as long as possible without a base for backup support, while Boulder has you controlled a high-speed destructive boulder trying to crush as many enemies as possible while at the same time avoiding crushing your own troops by jumping over them. On top of all this, there's a skirmish mode where you can just get into some good old-fashioned Swords and Soldiers gameplay, customizing every setting of the match, from which faction you want to play as and which map you want to play on, to even as small details as how much gold and mana you start out with. All this single-player content is beyond enough justification for a measly $3 asking price, but the game doesn't stop there. There's also a local multiplayer mode that works exactly like you'd want to see on the Wii U. One player uses the gamepad as a screen, and another player uses the Wii remote for the TV. The two-screen experience is perfect for a strategy game, and it's moments like this that make you think Nintendo was really onto something with their latest console. Well, all this content is nice and all, but how does the Swords of Soldiers play? After all, you could have 30 modes in a bad game, and it would still be a bad game. Well, the answer is very well, actually. During a match, you'll have to make a lot of choices that will greatly affect the outcome. Do you want to invest in miners to sacrifice offensive and defensive power for more gold? Do you choose to be vulnerable in the short term by not purchasing soldiers, but instead working on getting base upgrades for long-term success? Do you want to invest in spells and mana, or just try to rush the enemy with a wave of soldiers? Well, that's up to you. Normally in a game, having multiple playstyle leads to one strategy being generally agreed upon as the best way to play. However, during my time with the game, I felt like every option was viable, and no matter how I chose to play, I could make it work out. That's right, no Zerg rushes in this game. And that's one of the biggest strengths of this title. With the three factions all feeling unique and multiple ways to play a match, coupled with the host of settings for each battle, every time I played felt dynamic and different from the last. I never felt repetition sink in as I usually do for strategy games. That's a huge accomplishment, and definitely has me looking forward to the sequel hitting Wii U soon. So with all that in mind, I'm giving Swords and Soldiers HD for the Wii U a 9 out of 10, and a definite suggestion to buy it. With this game and Castle Storm on the eShop already, and Swords and Soldiers 2 on their way, I think strategy fans are going to have a pretty good time with the eShop. So what did you guys think of the game? Are you excited about the sequel? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching the video, liking, and subscribing. Have a good one.